Hello YouTube, welcome back to KLA Sports. I'm your host Kyle Alexander and today uh, I decided to do something a little different. So we're going to be, uh, I recently watched the Aaron Hernandez documentary on Netflix and um, I recommend you guys check that out. But um, yeah, this is going to be a review video of that documentary and um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. We're going to hop right into it. So um, for, or I'm going to just, plus I'm going to just give a warning. Uh, some of the stuff I say, I'm not uh, not condoning suicide or anything. I'm not condoning suicide, murder, like any of the stuff he did. You know, this is just me reviewing the re reviewing the documentary. I get most of my subscribers will understand it, but I'm just saying. I just thought I just wanted to put that out there, just um, you know, just a warning because of some some of the stuff that happened. Plus, I just wanted uh, people to be aware, so, yeah. Alright, so, uh, without further ado, first off, I thought the Aaron Hernandez documentary was great. Uh, it was very informative, and it re revealed a lot of information about Aaron Hernandez and the situation. Um, I mean, there's still some stuff to speculate, but, honestly, I thought it was a good good documentary. Got got some good people to uh, interview. It was well put together. Um yeah, it was just overall a good documentary. I like sports documentaries or stuff like this. So, yeah. Um, another thing, uh, something that we learned was that um, it the documentary revealed that he had CTE for a while. Well, I believe he was playing in the NFL with CTE. Or, uh, I'm not sure, but we know he had CTE for a while. And um, the lady, the doctor who the who examined the brain after he died. She found that there was CTE and damage in the frontal lobe, and she said that was that's that's important in terms of decision making. So maybe the CTE could have affected his decision making, but at the same time, it's not uh, the re it's not the blame. Like CTE is not why he killed people. The CTE doesn't make you kill people. I mean, CTE often leads to suicide. So it's not gonna, it's not you just get CT and it's like, oh, let me just kill some people. No, so that's not the reason. That could have affected his decision making. And at the same time, he made those decisions. So um, yeah, that was, I just felt that was interesting and in what they revealed. Um, actually, another thing that they kind that I felt kind of put this mindset in Aaron Hernandez. Not again, not saying that was the main reason. But it's just, I feel like it's something that contributed to the way, like a small thing that led to a big thing. Uh, he he was a freshman in college. He was at a he was at a nightclub, um, you know, like partying and stuff like college college people do. And um, they say he assaulted a bartender. Now he punched, I believe, because they said Aaron Hernandez thought there were, uh, he didn't have to pay, like um, he thought it was like tab or something. Or uh, and the guy handed him the receipt, and Aaron Hernandez punched him in the face. And the guy didn't press charges, so I guess that a lot of people were saying that gave him the sense that he was on top of the world, that he was untouchable, like rules didn't apply to him. And again, something like that is gonna make some somebody feel that way. Like if it is, if you do something bad that you shouldn't do, and you get off the hook for it, that's gonna make you think, oh, I'm untouchable, I'm on top of the world. They those rules don't apply to me. So that was just an, that was another story from it. Um, but yeah, it was just an interesting documentary. It said he killed three people, uh, apparently. I think it was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was three. Um, it was two pe. He killed two people in Boston before he signed the forty million dollar extension with the Patriots, and then he also uh, he killed them at a bar. Now he was again he was at a bar with his friend. Yeah, he was at a bar with his friend, and um, these guys spilled a drink on him. And the guy, the guy said he knew Aaron, like, um, you know, like he had a short temper, so he was trying to cool off Aaron. And then, but then Hernandez got in the car, met, saw them at the light, met up with them. So he said he called out yo twice. They saw it the second time, and then he shot the he shot them in the car. So it was a drive by, and then the second one was Odin Lloyd, and that was his uh, brother in law. And that story was that he met up with Odin Lloyd at uh, two thirty a.m. But he was Aaron Hernandez was with two uh, two of his friends or accomplices, and they drove out somewhere and they killed. They shot him in the car, 
And then Odin Lloyd was trying to get out, and then they that's where Aaron shot him again. And then, yeah, it was in a rental car. The lady said she found gum and uh, bullet shells in there. So those are the murders that he committed. Um, that was childhood. That was interesting to see. He he grew up in a uh, he grew up in an abusive uh, household. Cause his father his father was like uh, he was like the man around there, like in, not just the house but the neighborhood. But he he they said his father sexually abused him. And um again like that's gonna obviously that's gonna have a negative effect. But his his father sexually abusing him, that was just that um I don't know how to say it's just no, it just got to him. Um what's the name? Him and his mother was a toxic person. Like she was all over the place. Like, um I remember the they said the father died. Yeah, his fa Aaron's father died while he was in high school. And literally, like, not even, not even that, uh, far apart, his mother got with his cousin's ex-wife, or ex-husband, excuse me, his mother got with, together with her cousin's ex-husband, and he was, like, living in the house and stuff, um, excuse me, what else, uh, yeah, it was just, she was a toxic person, and also, after he signed the $40 million extension, um, the mother said that the mother wanted him to give her 40 million uh 1 million of the 40 million dollar extension and she was like like she's it was a phone call that they had and she was like give me 40 million give me a million i'm set for life aaron was basically saying no he was like no i'm not giving you 40 he's like, i'm not giving you money after what like what you did and stuff like he was basically saying he went through the whole documentary saying that the mother uh screwed up his life and stuff like that and um yeah, it was just crazy that household that he grew up in. Um, I can see, I can see like what he, I can picture what he went through. Um, and this was another thing that but nobody expected. Said um, he was, was saying Aaron Hernandez was gay or he was uh he was homosexual. He was, but the thing is, he was on like he was like most guys, like most people today, and he was still in the closet. But the thing is, he was uh, he was in a relationship. I don't know if it was a relationship, but him and his uh, high school quarterback, they were um, so they were like together. They had a little thing, and um, what's the name? But the way his father was, everybody viewed her, Aaron's father as a man's man, and he basically he you know that's intimidating if you're if you're a homosexual, and your parents are like you know, like if you're if you're a, a man and you're homosexual and your father's like, oh, I'm the manliest man. That's going to be intimidating. So yeah, I felt like that kind of got in the way at him a little bit. Um, some things we, another thing we learned was that his cousin Tanya and his fiance Shayana, uh, they were ride or dies. Uh, Ta Tanya, she she had cancer, but still went to court and said she wasn't going to testify against Aaron. And that's a loyal cousin. Now, the thing with Tanya, I believe they said Tanya was more of a the he she was more of a mother to Aaron than Aaron's mother was. And the bond that he had with Tanya, that was just a, that was a nice bond, and you could tell that they really cared about each other. Also, his fiance Shyana, uh, I don't, I believe she was playing dumb in court, but uh, it was like she wouldn't tell them anything. Like um, they saw it was a scene they saw her take a. A garbage bag out that was the size of a gun box. She took it to a dumpster and stuff like that. But when they asked her where where it was the dumpster, she said, "I don't know." So I felt like she was playing dumb in court to protect her fiance. But um, I just felt those are the two most loyal people to him. And last thing was, of course, his suicide. He killed himself in the prison. Yeah, he killed himself in prison. But the thing is, he did it so that his family would be straight because he knew he knew like if he was still in prison, still alive. I'm not again. I'm not condoning suicide or nothing, but I'm just saying for his situation, it wasn't getting any better. So I guess that that was his way of taking care of his family. Um, it's yeah. It's sad that he t took his life, but he did, did to take care of his family. And after that, he, he realized like if you're being tried for murder and you die in prison or something, like or if you die. You can't be tried, so that kind of dismissed the whole case. 
And another question that came out at the end was it was um after the case was dismissed, did the Patriots owe his fiance and daughter money? Because I think they said he was still he would still be considered the Patriot at the after the trial was dismissed. I thought that was interesting. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it for the documentary. Like I said, it was an interesting documentary. We learned a lot. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Tomorrow, I will be uh, evaluating Zion's debut. Like, just looking at some stuff. Wait, uh, how he played and uh, where his potential lies at. But um, yeah, that's it for this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, also, guys, uh, KLA fam. We are ninety. We are at ninety-one subscribers. We are nine subscribers away from a hundred. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, press that red subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. Hit the bell icon. Uh, yeah, that's it for this uh, video. We on the road to a hundred. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I will talk to you guys next time.